Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be discussing the topic of the flat earth and uh, the premise that I'm going to be working from is that the earth is not flat. Now, one difference that I hope to have on my channel from uh, other ones I've seen is I'm not looking to have personality clashes with other people. What I'm interested in discussing are ideas. I have another channel called INTJ Island and an INTJ personality type is not really all that interested in people so much as ideas. We want things to make sense and so my goal is to focus on the ideas surrounding the shape of the earth. What, what is it that drives some people to think the earth is flat and the vast majority of people to think it's spherical. And so I will be discussing those ideas in these videos. So don't expect a lot of name calling, getting involved with other channel people arguing against my point of view. I won't be involved with that. I'm not going to get into a bunch of personality stuff. What I want to get into is the idea behind the science of the shape of the earth. Basically, I'm going to use two topic areas, two different uh, argument areas or lines of argument to uh, cover this topic. The first one will be things not possible on a flat earth. So these will be arguments, uh, facts, evidence that show that the models that people produce, there isn't just a single one, but of all the models they produce, they just will not explain what's going on in reality. We will look at things, look at the world around us, and we will uh, identify things that just simply are not possible if the Earth actually were flat. The other area will be things that could only be possible if the Earth is round. If you were in a court of law, it, it, the first item would be um, showing that a defendant couldn't possibly have committed the crime. The, uh, the defense would present alibis and such that would show that it is not possible for uh, the defendant to be guilty. Well, in this case, I will be presenting evidence that will say it's not possible for the Earth to be flat. The second item would be uh, the Perry Mason School of, uh, of Law, where you find the actual guilty party, the one who actually did the act and had to have acted alone. And therefore, since he is the guilty party, the defendant obviously is innocent. It's that type of reasoning. We're going to have two parts to this. Uh, establishing the earth cannot be flat and that it must be spherical. Now to properly engage with this uh, with this channel you must have a rational mind. That means you must be able to accept facts that are clearly evident and uh, understand them and what they mean. And also you'll need to, uh, a little bit of math skills. I'll be using some algebra, geometry, and trigonometry uh, along the way. And you will need to be able to uh, follow that. But I'm not going to get into really serious calculus or anything far advanced. It's just the basics that you'll need to understand why the Earth cannot possibly be flat and it must be spherical. As long as you have basic math skills that you know, a good high school student would pick up, uh, you should be able to follow that easily enough. The final thing is you must have a logical mind, something that can accept reason, evidence, you know, logically move from the evidence to a conclusion that makes sense. If you have an irrational mind, you're going to be stuck, uh, lost in the forest, you know, with no with no sense of direction because you have to have logic uh, and reason and the ability to absorb ideas and see what they mean in order to go from point A to point B uh, which I'm going to be trying to take you through so 
we'll see how it goes. This is my intro. I hope you'll enjoy the channel and uh, I'll see you next time.